Hey everyone, I am Anthony Scott of ToyHypeUSA.com. Today we're going to review the Fortnite Legendary Series Doggo figure from Jazzwares. That is part of this line. And as you can see, he's packaged in the standard blistered card. And I think they did a very nice job on it. Uh, there's a artwork from the video game there on the lower right hand of him. Uh, his name, the standard Fortnite logo is on there. And you turn it to the side, you could see him on the side here as well, as long as well as the Fortnite logo. And it's the same story on the other side. And the back, you get another look at him. Comes with a quote, who's a good boy. And you also see additional figures that are available. We've reviewed Eternal Voyager, Drift, Fish Stick, and X-Lord. Uh, most recently, and we're also going to take a look at P1000 uh, most likely next week. So come back and check out that review. So what do you say? Let's open them up and take a look. Hey guys, so as you can see, I've taken Doggo out of packaging, and I think he looks fantastic. This version of Doggo is in a Burger King uh, colored sweatshirt, as it's officially described. And I think they did a very nice job on there. There's nice crisp lines. And paint apps look very good on it. Just look at that great attention to detail there. I think they uh, did a very nice job on it. The stripes go all the way around as shown. So you get that same vibe all throughout the sweatshirt. The same colors. And everything great attention to detail there the pants are in a dark gray and there's even some sculpted detail that shows up you should be able to see it on camera there where my fingers pointing uh, so that's definitely a nice bonus and even his shoelaces are painted in either the same orange or very similar orange as the sweatshirt there so that's also very nicely done and also, on both sides of his gloves, he has a uh, orange dog bone, which you can see right there, which is definitely a very cool little detail there. Let's move him back so you can see the whole picture here. There's also stripes on his shoes that you see there. So design-wise, I think they did a very nice job on him. He looks just as he does in the game, pretty much. And I definitely think they nailed it. The hood is made of a slightly softer plastic than uh, the arms. And also the uh, piece over his chest is also made of a soft plastic. You can see that move around a bit. And the hood is also connected. Also, just below his hood, he comes with two strings that would uh, tighten up the hood around his head there, just as a real hood would. And I really love that they added that little detail to the, uh, the character design and also this figure. So that's pretty cool. He also comes with four interchangeable head sculpts. This one here is more of a closed mouth, and he has the likeness of a uh, human pug dog which I think it's a really cool design for a character in Fortnite, and I think they did a very nice job on here. Uh, the attention to detail on the face is just very nicely done. And let me show you guys. The other designs. So hopefully you heard that snap into place there. There's another one of the designs with a uh, the tongue sticking out and looks like he's getting a belly rub or something. Okay. So if you heard that snap, you'll know it's in place and this one gives you more more of a look of uh, inside of his mouth here. He looks surprised, shocked, 
and I think they did a very nice job on the likeness. Great attention to detail here. Uh, you see the teeth, the tongue, all through here. Nicely designed eyes. And the last head sculpt. This one also has the tongue sticking out, but with a, a closed mouth. Whereas that one was the uh, other one with the tongue sticking out with the closed eyes. This one has open eyes. And again, I think they did a very nice job on the attention to detail here. Great sculpting, great paint application. And overall, this is uh, just a fun design. I think they did a very nice job on here. Dogo also comes with a chew toy harvesting tool, which looks like a, a big bone for him to chew on. I definitely think uh, this accessory is great for him. It speaks volumes of his character, and it's just a fun accessory. It's painted in a, looks like a metallic copper there. And as you can see, it's sculpted very nicely. And you also see the chow down back bling on his back there, which is a dog bowl and has the name Odin on here. And there's even some dog food sculpted right there on the side, which is a very cool little detail that they added. And it's even painted to look like kibble or something. So I think they did a very nice job on that as well. There's another look at the side with the name there. And here's another look at the size of the bone. You can see it's almost as big as he is, which I think is very cool. And again, I think they did a very nice job on it. Let's turn it to the side there, give you guys a look. It has great attention to detail, very nice sculpt, and it definitely looks the part. And here's another look at the chow down harvesting tool with a different head sculpt that I applied, one with uh, him smiling with the tongue sticking out. I just thought it was a fun way to display this uh, accessory and faceplate together. Next up is the pump shotgun, which can be held in uh, one or two hands, depending on what you guys decide. It's a great accessory, and I love how this is painted. Some great attention to detail there. You can see his finger fits into the uh, trigger finger there. It's very nicely done. It actually looks also pretty realistic, if you ask me. They definitely did a nice job on this accessory. There's another look there. And here's a look at him holding the pump shotgun with both hands. It fits on pretty well there, but it might be a little bit loose, so you gotta get a really good grip on it. And as you can see, once again, I think it looks great. Painted very nicely, great attention to detail there. And you can even see the uh, the barrel is uh, open there, which I think it's a very cool little detail. You can see it on camera right there. And this is my favorite of his accessories. He comes with a minigun, which uh, it's best used when both hands are holding it. And I think they did a phenomenal job on this. Just look at all those great sculpted details right along the side here. I think they really went all out to make this something special. Turning it to the side, you see uh, even the front has some really nice details here. Great attention to detail. And there's a look at the back. The back of it says... Who's a La Vista, I believe. And that's just a cool little detail there.
great attention to detail, even though writing on it looks really good. It's painted in a dark metallic green and a... Looks like a metallic dark gray as well, which is a great combination for an accessory, if you ask me. And I think this is definitely a fun accessory for this particular character. It makes him look uh, much more formidable than uh, he than he does, in my opinion. And it's just a really cool looking accessory. Overall. I think they did a phenomenal job with Doggo. I especially love the minigun and the uh, big bone harvesting tool right here that they did. Uh, the four interchangeable faceplates are also fun, as well as the shotgun. Great assortment of accessories. Lots of uh, display and posability options. He's a fun looking character. Uh, great release and overall I think he's a great figure. Definitely recommend picking them up. Links to buy are in the written portion of this review on toyhopusa.com. You can find the link in the description on YouTube or just below if you're already on the site with this video embedded. Uh, thank you again to Jazzwares for providing Doggo for review. I greatly appreciate that. We'll be looking at P1000 next week, so come back and check out that review. I am Anthony Scott of toyhopusa.com. Please like and share this video. Uh, leave a comment. And let us know what you think. Uh, please follow us on social media. Links below in the description on YouTube or on the upper hand right side of the website under follow us. You'll be looking for icons. Thank you again for watching the video and stay tuned for more coverage. And also check out the written portion and photo gallery of this review in the uh, toyhypeusa.com. Link below in the description on YouTube. Thank you.